All right, y'all, man. Look, man. Look, this video I'm gonna be showing y'all some must-have essentials when roping pups. The new breeders. It's it's basically like a breeders hack video, but just certain stuff you need to have when breeding pups to make sure they maintain healthy and in case you have problems. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. I put my foot on the gas, uh, I got one more than that fast, yeah I keep his what on the dash, uh-huh I keep his what on the dash What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Big Body Willie Dre, and I'm back with yet another video, man. Look, man, look, first off, I want to say I appreciate all of y'all that's been showing love to the channel. We're at 400 subscribers. We've been growing. It's been a month, and we've been growing like crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, shout out to y'all. Puppies are hungry. That's why they're crying, and I'm just getting into the video, man. We just got up. But anyways, man, look, man, basically today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all some breeder hacks, everything you need to have when you know you're gonna have a litter on the way. It's like just, it's better It's better to be prepared than to, you know what I'm saying, be like, oh man, what I need to get, what I need to get at the last minute, you know what I'm saying? So this is basically everything that I have. Some things missing because I already used them just a little late, you know what I'm saying, but um, let's get into this video, man, look. First off, look, another thing, another thing, another thing. Pups, look, we, 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 we made it past the first 14 days, man. We made it past the first 14 days. Well, actually, today is the 14th day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with a little, little light, I can sleep a little longer, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But all the pups are doing completely good. I'm going to pull them out. They have uh, opened their eyes. Everything is going smooth and good, you know what I'm saying? But as you can see, come on, wake up. You know what I'm saying? Look at the eyes open, man. Eyes open. You ready? All of them is doing absolutely perfect, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm so glad that they're doing so good. Eyes open, moving around. Come on. It's the blue boy, eyes open, looking good, healthy. You know what I'm saying? They all, like I said, they all, they all doing their thing, man. I'm so proud of this litter. Come on. That black char bell. Eyes open. What's up, man? What's up, man? Doing good. Moving around. You can get them in there, baby. So basically, we're gonna, you know, y'all already know what we're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and lay down, mama. Go ahead and lay down. You trying to get the top left. Okay. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get you right. Alright, there you go. Here. All right, as y'all can see, man, look how good they doing. They all fat, round, they going crazy, man. Look, my Merle, my two keepers in the middle, the two boys for sale is on the side. And I don't know, I might end up keeping one of my boys. Stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, man, we're gonna get back to you after they finish eating. Like I said, new to the channel, subscribe, like, drop a comment, and we'll be back in the next soon. All right, y'all, man, look. This is all the items that we have, man. I'm going to be walking y'all through every single item. Some is a must-have, some is preference, you know what I'm saying? So, first off, we're going to start off um, number one. We have Nature's Mate Colostrum. First, I say the first 24 hours to 48 hours, you want to have this just in case your mom milk ain't coming in as good as you want, you know what I'm saying? So, all of y'all know that when the, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm sorry. But uh, the first 48 uh, the first 48 hours, the mom produced a little thick colostrum. So, what you wanna do is squirt some in the puppy's mouth just so they get the nutrients that they need until my mom start producing milk as good as she need to, you know what I'm saying? So, colostrum. Then what else should I go to? Okay, another thing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go to these. These are must have. You wanna have aspirators. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of pups die from aspirating, and and then if they aspirate, sometimes they can catch an ammonia and stuff like that. But a lot of pup, puppies die from aspiration. This is an electric aspirator. You click it on, it sucks all the milk and stuff like. Basically, let me tell y'all aspiration. Basically, it's when milk get in their lungs and then they start spitting up milk coming out their nose, coming out their mouth. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be careful with that. You want to. As soon as it happened, you want to be there to clean it, suck all the milk out their nose, make sure they're good. You know what I'm saying? So we got the electric aspirator and we got the baby aspirator, basically what people use on babies. You can get it from Walmart anywhere. You can I got this from Amazon, you know what I'm saying? So aspirator, you want to have this. Okay, next thing. We're gonna do the fade fade puppy support. This is basically fake puppy support. Basically, like it's, it's it got colostrum in it, it got glucose, electrolytes, everything in it. You mix it with water. So basically, when you have a puppy that you notice that ain't doing too good, you wanna, you know, what I'm saying you wanna come up. Basically, this is like a little, what's the name of it? It's like a, it's like a little supplement that you can give them to make them to try to force them to do better. You know what I'm saying? So not not necessarily they gonna always. It, it depends on how far gone they are, but. I haven't used this yet because I didn't have no prop, no puppies with, you know what I'm saying, with any problems. So my pup's been doing perfectly fine. I didn't use, this is basically for um, tool feeding, you know what I'm saying. So this is tool feeding kit just in case you have a pup that's not eating and you want to force them to eat because a lot of pups die from dehydration. So what, if they're not eating, they're, they're eventually going to be dehydrated. And a way you can tell if a pup is dehydrated, let me show you on one of my pups. Come back. So basically, if you want to tell if your puppy is dehydrated, when you pull that skin back and it don't bounce right back down, like it'll stay up like this. It'll stay up like that if they're dehydrated. But as you can see, I pull it, it bounces right back down. That's how you can tell he's not dehydrated. Okay. So basically, you would want to use this if you have the tool feed. You want to when you tool feed, you want to have a syringe, fill it up with milk. You know what I'm saying? Put the tool feed in, put it down their throat. Squeeze it in their stomach. You gotta be careful though, you know what I'm saying? So, this is a learning process, you know what I'm saying? We learning together, okay? Now we got the iodine swabs. Basically what I use iodine swabs is, I guess I'll go ahead and show y'all, I think this one open. I already showed y'all in the previous video what, how to use them, but I'll show y'all again. So basically you wanna use this to clean the puppy's umbilical cord area or any scars that they might have. Like I have one pup, he poops a lot, so he had a little sore butt, so, I use this to clean, like you know what I'm saying, to make sure it stays sterilized. Basically, you want to break it with an orange jet, and every and the iodine will go all the way down to the swab, and you just, you know what I'm saying, clean them, whatever. This is a waste of one, but it's all good. Got plenty. Okay, iodine swabs. You can get that from Amazon, you know what I'm saying? So, another little, little hacks. Okay, now, teramoxin. This is a have, must have, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times you gotta go to the doctor to get this, but we, you know, we got plugs to get this stuff for us, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to uh, Tony at Pet Performance, you know what I'm saying? But basically, one of my pups, I noticed that one of their eyes was bulging, you know what I'm saying? So basically she had an eye infection. One of my Murrah pups, she had an eye infection. So basically what we had to do, me and my wife, we actually had to force her eye open to get the, all the pus out, and then we use this teramoxin, basically like it helps with eye infections and stuff like that. Put it in the eye, and now, um, let me show you her, see, show you how good she's doing. Uh, come here. She got her eyes open, you see? She's doing way better, it was this eye right here. You know what I'm saying? But we've been putting the treatment in and you know what I'm saying? Make sure we put the teramoxin in, clean her eye with a warm rag or something like that. And she's doing perfectly fine now. There you go. Look at her, trying to walk. You see you're trying to walk? All right, y'all, so that's the teramoxin. Something, something to have, a lot of people don't know. You know what I'm saying? People gonna be wondering like, oh, why my, why my puppy eye doing that? You know what I'm saying? It happens. It ain't nothing bad, it ain't nothing Genetic or nothing that happens. Eye infection. Okay. We have goat milk. This is this is basically getting into like my three my three weeks. Oh no! Before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all this the, the, um, the nebulizer. So basically, this is a nebulizer. So when the puppies are aspirating, this is this will help. This is basically like 
Some people have asthma. You know what I'm saying? You notice when they start aspirating, they start breathing hard. You know what I'm saying? So basically what you want to do, we have the, the solution, put it in here, and it blows out like a little steam that they can breathe in. You know what I'm saying? Basically like an asthma treatment to help clear their lungs out. You want to use this. You, can put, you ain't got to put it too close to them because it blows kind of far. You just let them breathe it in for like a good three to five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just you can hold each pump individually just to, you know what I'm saying, make sure they get all getting it. And that's basically what I use this for. I use this a couple times because my Merle bitch, she, she was aspirating. She was the, like really the only one that was spitting up milk too bad. But as y'all can see, she eats fine. She don't, she just haven't been spitting up milk or nothing. So make sure y'all be on it from the start. Don't, oh, clean her nose. Okay, boom. No, you got to, like I said, clean her nose out, suck. Make sure you suck all of, the, of it out so she can breathe. You know what I'm saying? And then you want to clear it out so when she start back eating, it ain't like, oh, I can't breathe. So she's trying to breathe out her mouth and eat at the same time. Then milk goes into the lungs and all this. You want to prevent that. So you got to make sure you're on it like that. But, um, yeah, this is what I use for that. Um, okay. We have... We're going to get into this in another video. This is basically uh, IV fluids. Um... When you basically, when your puppy dehydrated, you can take a syringe and a needle. We have the needles right here. And basically, when they dehydrated, they're not eating, tube feeding, like I told you. You want to take, put up their skin. Um, the specific amount, you know, so we're going to get into that in another video when I have to do it and actually show y'all. Pull up the skin, put some underneath the skin like a ball. You'll put a ball up underneath the skin. You know what I'm saying? And I learned this from Nick, Lacey, and uh, Scooter. You know what I'm saying? So. Put it up underneath the skin, put a bulge, and basically the body will absorb it. You know what I'm saying? So we'll have to get into that on in another video. But um, what else we have? Okay, we got the puppy scale. You want to weigh the puppies. We're going to weigh the puppies in this video so y'all can see how good they're doing after they finish eating. We're going to weigh the puppies. We have Don and we have Dewormer. This is the Dewormer I use. You know what I'm saying? I say around, I probably start deworming around three or four weeks. You know what I'm saying? So, the warmer, Don. Don is basically what I use to make my mush. So, we're going to do that in another video when I'm making my mush. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, let's go ahead and weigh the pups. We're going to go ahead and weigh the pups now. So. All right. We're going to go ahead and weigh the pups for y'all. Okay. She's right at 2 pounds, one point. About 1.2, 1.3 ounces. Two pounds, 1.2, 1.3 ounces. She's at two pounds, 7.2 ounces. Hey, mama. Okay, he's two pounds, 10.1 ounces. Okay, you a fat boy, man. Now I already know the blue, the blue, he, he weighs the most out of all of them. Come here. Okay, stop moving. He's at two, two pounds, 10.8, 10.9 ounces. Yes, sir. So as you can see, they all steadily growing. They all in the two pounds range. She was the smallest. But she started catching up, you know what I'm saying? But look, that's it with this video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. wait, wait, swing that back, swing that back. Now, must another must thing have incubator. You never know when you're gonna need it. You never know. Yeah, you can go the natural route. This is good. This 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 helped people save a lot of pups, man. Like I said, incubator is good to have. But um, like I said, appreciate y'all for watching this video. Big body bully Dre. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment. We're going up. 1K on the way. We have 400. 1K on the way. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. And we out of here. Let's go.